Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write java program for palindrome number now guys a palindrome number is a number that is the same after reversing the number so as you can see for example the original number is 545 and when we reverse this number it will be again 545 and in this case both the numbers are equal and that is when we say that the number is a palindrome number some other examples are 151 then we have 345 43 then we have 343 171 48 984 so all these numbers are palindrome numbers you can also see that some of the strings such as lol <laughs> what is the full form of this lol comment below and this madam as well both these strings are the palindrome strings so guys let us write a java program in order to find whether the entered number is a palindrome number or not so let me move to eclipse id over here so first of all we are going to have the variable that is number which is going to be entered by the user so we have the print statement over here and we'll say enter the number so user will enter the number over here which can be entered by using the scanner class so we have the sc object followed by new operator and then we have the scanner constructor over here so we have scanner constructor and system dot in which will be responsible in order to take the input from the user on the console so over here number it is equal to sc dot next in so guys this line of code is responsible in order to take the input from the user and store that input into the number variable now what we will do is we will check whether the entered number is a palindrome or not so guys what is the logic behind finding whether the entered number is a palindrome number or not so let's say for example over here we have taken the number as 545 the logic behind finding whether this number is palindrome or not we have to get the last number that is 5 by using the remainder operator so once we have found the 5 we will assign the number to another variable that will be 5 then the next number will be 54 by using the divide operator so over here we will find the last digit which will be equal to 4 in this case so once we have extracted this 5 number we have the next number that will be 4 by using the remainder operator and this 4 should be appended over here after 5 which will be 4 over here now and then after removing this the last number which is 5 we have to remove this from here and add it over here as 5 so guys how do we do this in java let us check so let us have few variables over here the first variable will be reversed number so we have reversed number over here so guys this is the original number that is number and we will store the reverse of this number inside this reversed number variable and let's say we have another variable as the temp variable which will be storing the original number initially and this temp variable we will be using in order to carry out our operations so over here after this we will have the while loop and we will check whether this temp number which is originally the number that is entered by the user if it is greater than 0 so we have temp is it greater than 0 if so then it will go inside the while loop and what it will do is it will find out the remainder so we will have in remainder over here what will be remainder it will be temp percent 10 so we will find the last digit of the number and store it inside this remainder and then we have the semicolon over here now guys after storing this remainder what we will do is we will have to append this inside this reverse number so guys a reverse number should be initially 0 so that we can store the remainder inside this reversed number so what we will have to do is over here we will say reversed number once again it is equal to reversed number we have to first multiply it by 10 and then we have to add the remainder guys why so that's because see initially the reverse number is 0 so 0 multiplied by 10 will be 0 and then it will just add the remainder so the very first time when the control flow comes inside this while loop the remainder of the number that is the last digit will be added as the first digit with the form of this remainder to the reversed number next time when the last digit is coming once again from the temp now how the last digit will come we will have to change the temp number from temp equal to temp divided by 10 so in this case the last digit will be removed from the temp and it was already given to the reversed number next time when the control flow is coming back again 
the remainder that will be the last digit will be found and then that remainder will be added but how by first multiplying the first number by 10 and then adding the remainder so guys this is the logic behind finding the reverse of the number ultimately this times value should be less than zero to come out of this while loop so guys in case you have any confusion regarding this logic i'll explain you once again with the help of example after running this code so after this while loop what we will do is we will have to check whether this reversed number is equal to this number that was entered by the user or not so we will simply say if number is equal to equal to reversed number and then if so then we will have the print statement that number is palindrome or else we will have another statement over here in the else part so if it is not equal that is number is not equal to reverse number then number is not palindrome so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see enter the number it is asking the user to enter the number so we will say the same example that is 545 and then when i press enter it is saying number is palindrome now guys what is happening over here as you can see reverse the number is zero temp is number right now so inside this temp we have 545 so over here what i will do is let's say we have the temp variable which is 545 right now so what we are doing is remainder it is equal to 10 percent 10 which means we are getting the last digit so in this case our remainder it will be equal to 5 that's because 545 percent 10 will give us this last digit right now so remainder is 5 and then reversed number it is equal to reverse number multiplied by 10 plus remainder right now the reversed number is what zero so zero multiplied by 10 is what zero plus remainder will be what remainder's value is five right now so our reversed number will be equal to five in this case and then when the control flow comes over here temp equal to temp divided by 10 so our temp is what 545 divided by 10 will give us 54 so this last digit will be removed so ultimately what we have done is the last digit was removed and it was provided to this reversed number now next time when the control flow comes over here back again the remainder will be 10 percent 10 in which case this temp is 54 and 54 percent 10 will give us 4 now so remainder will become 4 and now since the reversed number is 5 what will happen is in this next line reverse number which is 5 multiplied by 10 will be 50 plus remainder which is 4 right now so it will be 50 plus 4 which is equal to 54 so over here the reverse number will become 54 and then the next line temp equal to temp divided by 10 so 54 divided by 10 will leave us with the number that is 5 next time the remainder will be temp percent 10 the temp value is 5 right now percent 10 will be equal to 5 so over here we will get the value as 5 reversed number will be 54 multiplied by 10 so this reverse number multiplied by 10 will be 540 plus remainder which is 5 right now so 540 plus 5 will be equal to 545 so 5 will come over here and then the next line of code that is temp is equal to temp divided by 10 so 5 divided by 10 will be equal to 0 and now since the temp's value is 0 the control flow will come over here once again it will check is temp greater than 0 no in this case so the control flow will come out of this while loop so guys using this logic inside the while loop we can easily write the java program to find whether a number is a palindrome or not additionally we can also write over here the reversed number as well so we have reversed number and then colon and we can simply say reversed number over here so that we come to know what is the reverse number and the reverse number that was calculated will be simply compared with the original number let me just save this file and try running this code once again this time what we will do is we will give the second number that is 151 i'll provide the input as 151 over here as you can see reverse number is again 151 so the number is palindrome let me just run this code once again what i will do is i will simply provide the number is 1 2 3 4 in which case the reverse number will be 4 3 2 1 so are both the numbers equal no in this case so let me just press enter it says reverse the number it is 4 3 2 1 and number is not a palindrome so since a reverse number is not equal to the original number the number is not a palindrome in this case let me just run this code once again i'll say 1 2 3 4 and then again 4 3 2 1 so these are the eight digits we will reverse this and compare it with the original number it says reverse number it is 1 2 3 4 
फोर थ्री टू वन सो बोथ द नंबर आर इक्वल एंड दैट इज वाई नंबर इज पेलिंड्रोम इज गेटिंग प्रिंटेड सो गाइज दिस इज दावा प्रोग्राम इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड वेदर दी एंटर्ड नंबर इज अ पेलिंड्रोम और नॉट सो गाइज दैट्स इट इन दिस वीडियो प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू लाइक दिस वीडियो सो दैट इट रीचेज टू मोर पीपल एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल सो दैट यू गेट दी नोटिफिकेशन ऑन अपकमिंग वीडियोज एज वेल द नेक्स्ट वीडियो दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इज जावा प्रोग्राम फॉर आर्म स्ट्रॉन्ग नंबर सो स्टेट